人書だあれミストさんどこ幸せの石Alright, so we're back in the school. It wasn't this dark last time. <gasps> there wasn't a clock like that in here last time either. I guess things really are different now. I hope Misto hasn't gone too far. I don't even know his phone number. Actually... I should leave a message for him. Misto, it's Ayumi. Please call me. 090... Bots, 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 bots. Mm. Good enough, I think. Now let's see if I can find him anywhere. Save. All right, we're back with Corpse Party Blood Drive. Um, kind of took a break there for a bit. Um, well, not for a bit. There's a murky yellow liquid inside the bucket, filling the hall with an absolutely noxious odor. This is really disgusting. Not that anything in here isn't, though. 
but yet you reached in and you grabbed some batteries anyway. <laughs> oh, we have to be careful. We can get hurt. Okay. The clock's pendulum seems to have stopped at an angle. This clock was in here last time, was it? I don't know if I read that before. I can't remember. someone else there. Ah. A dead body! Before we... Before me were the skeletal remains of a human being sprawled out unceremoniously on the ground. Oh, this is definitely heavenly host. This person. I have no idea who he is, but somehow I feel like I've met him before. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Sugatani High Class 2C, Toshihisa Goto. Decapitation by wire while searching for friend. Why do you feel like you've met him before? I don't get that. Bandage obtained? Heavenly host is falling apart more than ever before. As a result, there are numerous hazards to watch out for, from broken glass to splinters. Stepping on one will lower your HP. Depending on the hazard, it may harm only the currently selected player character, or it may harm the entire party. HP can be recovered, however, through the use of bandages. Yeah, so you'll see like the glass and cracks and stuff like that. It's a loose floorboard, still very much intact and entirely solid. It should be strong enough to support the weight of even a full-grown adult. This might come in handy, huh? So I finally tweeted YouTube about how my how my views are shrinking because one video yesterday uploaded morning it was like 55 views whatever but then I checked later that day as I'm going home from work it's like at 40 views no it was like at 31 but as the day went on it gained like f about uh, 13 more and then I check it this morning, and it's down to 19. The same video. So I finally bitched to, I, I don't know, I tweeted. Letting them know that I'm really tired of them taking my views. And they can give me whatever bullshit excuse they want. That's bullshit. I should be able to cross now. And then I like, was like looking at my um, subscribers too, and the ones that typically, you know, comment and stuff, like they ha it has like a triangle with a warning sign on it. They're right here. They should be right here. The door is affixed to the wall like a model. Shows no indication that it was ever meant to be opened. So someone was saying like people are getting banned and YouTube of course refuses to explain why. 
which is bullshit because you should be able to know why you were banned. That is completely fair, I think, to know why you were banned. You have the right to ban people, yes, but to... It's probably within the, you know, user agreement or whatever, but it's bullshit that you don't tell people why they were banned. And considering YouTube comments are infamous for just some really hurtful, bigoted remarks, and you got YouTubers who upload bigoted remarks too, I mean, I guess that's free speech, but it makes one wonder, what does it take to get banned? If you can be a complete and total asshole, if you can completely harass people, what does it take to get banned on YouTube? I don't know. Probably illegally uploading stuff or porn, but I doubt that was the case. Sorry, I'm ruining the mood. She's got something hanging between her legs. I can probably lose if I hide in here. Yeah, we have to do this. You can hide in lockers to avoid harmful entities. However, if you're spotted by the entity while trying to hide, it can very easily pull you out. When an entity is near your hiding place, a red circle will be displayed to indicate danger. As it moves farther and farther away, the circle will turn green and eventually go away completely if and when the coast is clear. Okay, we can leave. At least I was able to get away. I have to hurry and find Misto, though. There's no use hiding. You're always being watched. My chin smashed against the floor and the wind was completely knocked out of me. My entire field of vision turned white, as if I'd been drenched in some unholy phosphorescence. Then everything went black. Various indistinct forms blurred together in front of my eyes. And all of a sudden, it felt as if not my body, but my mind had been shattered to pieces.
Yup. Alright, we got Yoshi Shinozaki has been unlocked. And new Encyclopedia Obscure entries have been unlocked, such as Yuki Kano, Miki Kishinuma, Ever After Stones, Miki Kishinuma. Um, she, we never see her, but she's mentioned uh, is Yoshiki's little sister. Seiji Shinozaki, Hinoe Shinozaki, Blowback, Closed Spaces Tokiko Tsuji, Heavenly Host Elementary, Nirvana, Raising of Corpses, Land of Corpses, Spirit Items. Yes, let's save. Alright. Well, that was Chapter 1. I'll see you all in Chapter 2. Do please like, subscribe, and fave. For more Corpse Party Blood Drive, I do apologize for kind of ruining the mood there a bit. Didn't mean to. Um, I remember that happening a little differently, but oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll continue later.